Breaking news, the spending bill President Trump calls a clear win for the American people passes the House today, just days before government funding would have run out, creating a government shutdown. As Jason Calvi reports, the bill causes concern for pro-lifers. Jason, good evening. Lauren, the House overwhelmingly voted to pass the $1.1 trillion bill. It includes funding for Planned Parenthood, and that has been a sticking point for pro-life lawmakers and groups. Today in the House. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Michigan, Mr. Mitchell. Certainly the legislation is not perfect and doesn't accomplish everything I want as a conservative. The $1.1 trillion spending bill will not stop Planned Parenthood from getting federal funds. While we narrowly averted a disaster with the budget, we can't for one second think that this fight is over. Hillary Clinton defending Planned Parenthood at its 100th anniversary celebration last night. Conservative group Concerned Women for America says they're deeply saddened Congress hasn't gotten the message and continues to fund the abortion provider. But the Trump White House says they have another way to defund Planned Parenthood, at least for a year, using the Obamacare replacement bill. Look, if you want to take a vote on the Hill to stake out your position on Planned Parenthood, do it on the health care bill. The health care bill only needs a simple majority to pass the Senate which Republicans can do without Democratic support. That's going to save a lot of babies, uh, being able to uh, withdraw that kind of uh, federal spending. Family Research Council Vice President David Christensen says focusing on the health care bill is part of a larger pro-life strategy because it will cut most of Planned Parenthood's federal funds, a much larger chunk than the spending bill would have. We've tried this before over the years. Of, of when Vice President Pence was a member of Congress, I worked uh, on the Hill. An amendment to defund Planned Parenthood on the spending bill didn't work. So we're trying to go with what's possible, uh, not uh, what is uh, highly unlikely. The bill now moves over to the Senate. Its likely passage there will land the first major bipartisan legislation on President Trump's desk just in time, Lauren, to stop a government shutdown. Jason, Speaker Ryan is selling this spending bill to conservatives. Tell us why. What's he saying? Well, he told conservative radio host Hugh Hewitt today that the spending bill is a win for President Trump and congressional Republicans. He's pointing to the extra money for the military and border security. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvi, thank you. Our partners at Catholic News Agency wrote an in-depth article about what Catholics like and dislike in the new spending bill. You can read it at catholicnewsagency.com.